welcome back to vlogmas i'm having a very late start to the day it is almost one o'clock <laughs> um i slept in until eight and then just like had coffee and kind of just like lollygagged this morning but um i want to get started on the tree today so i have this little not little this back inverter thing that i need to take down and put in the office because it normally goes where the tree's at and yeah that way it's out of the way i do want to do a little bit of straightening up just because everything's just a little just a little messy nothing too crazy so i think um what i'm gonna start with is grabbing the boxes from upstairs and bringing them down ruben's mom is gonna come over a little bit later and we're gonna string some popcorn and cranberries i grew up doing that and i did it last year for the first time like as an adult and i feel like it just really made my tree so um i totally forgot i don't know if i have popcorn i need the kind that you cook on the stove so let me get Ugh, my back has been really hurting me i've been like trying to stretch it out and stuff but like just now i like bent over and it was like ah. okay this pantry is such a shit show this is on my list for this month is cleaning this out look at this like you can't why how did this happen uh, but i need to look in there to see if we've got some popcorn boom So I was thinking, um, I've never done this before, but I was thinking for decorating the tree, I kind of want to do a video similar to how I did decorating my house where it's like very vibey and I do like a voiceover and whatever. I'll still vlog it too, but then also doing like a separate video where I'm like talking about each ornament and like making it like, I don't know. So I'm thinking about doing that. I don't know. Um, I do have the cranberries. I need to take them out maybe like 30 minutes to an hour before um, stringing them. But yeah, I do like a traditional nostalgic kind of theme. And when I did the popcorn and cranberries last year, just like really, I think just really set the vibe. So... Let's see, I think I'm going to start with trying to take this thing down. <laughs> Hopefully I don't... I it sounds so dramatic, but I hope I don't break a nail. <laughs> Yeah, bitch. Oh, Zach. Ugh. So that was easier than I thought, even though I rammed my knee and also rammed the door, but that's okay. Um, I didn't leave too much damage. Okay, so a random shirt so i think these two boxes are ornaments these are ornaments there might be some in one of these 
yeah, my lights, my Christmas lights are in one of these. So let's open those up first. So these are my favorite Christmas lights ever. I got them from Amazon um, and I have three packs. And this is my tree skirt that I usually use, but I'm gonna put this in our bedroom for the tree in there and then grab the white one that I have in there right now for downstairs. So I got the tree skirt, I'm gonna start there and then just bring the rest of the stuff down and then I think I'm just gonna set up my nice camera setup so I can start recording that just in case I do end up doing a more like, I don't know, like professional in-depth vibey video. So let's start with uh, the tree skirt. This was a splurge, but I got it from Pottery Barn. It's such a pretty skirt. Um, I feel like it's so different than other like white fluffy skirts that I've seen. A lot of them look exactly like the one that's upstairs, just not that full and big and whatever. So for me, it was totally worth it. I think it's so beautiful. play with it a little bit more later but see I like that it can like gather and rouge up like that I think it's so pretty so I'm gonna go grab the rest of the boxes and we can get started with like lights and all that stuff Okay, so I just brought my big camera down because I think I'm gonna do that video. I think, why not? I can still vlog and do that one. And then you can kind of see a little behind the scenes on how I do like a decorate with me video. Um, so yeah. I also moved the stockings because over here, they were getting blocked by the tree. I'll probably take this blanket off, but I think the stockings will look cute on the ladder, but it looks like too much with the blanket. So I'll figure that out. Um, so yeah, got my camera here. And then I also grabbed my ornaments. These are my Target ones. And then these are all of my like other ones that I have. I totally forgot I have some other ones in my office that I need to grab these, hold on. Cute. I got really traditional little like Rudolph themed ornaments last year. Here we've got the little Santa. And the snowman. This one's one of my favorites. It's a little wiener dog. And then the pickle ornament. And then these are, I think, my favorite ornaments out of all of them. They, I feel like on camera right now, don't look like anything that special, but once you see them on the tree and the light hits them, they pack the biggest punch out of anything. They're so beautiful. <sighs> these fucking things. So, these are the ornaments that I ordered last October and then they came like the week of Christmas. <sighs> I 
They're these really cute little Santa ornaments, but like, damn, they could have let me know <laughs> that they weren't gonna send them. Move this here, I feel like the lighting over there sucks. I bought a box cutter, I just don't know where I put it. So I just use scissors. And then I have these, which are like little crystal ornaments. They're great little filler ones. And then more of these sparkly ones. Oh, I'm so glad I got so many of these because they really are so beautiful. I'm just going to place all of these here so that they're separate from the rest. And then I got these ones this year from Pottery Barn. And these are like good old classic Santa Clauses. They are so beautiful. Okay, I feel like the lighting just sucks. There we go. Look at how pretty. Just like classic Santa. I'm just sitting here for like 500 hours trying to take these tags off. And it would be a lot easier if I just went upstairs and got my small scissors, but instead I'm making it more difficult. Oh no, I hope I did not just fuck that up. Okay, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. Um, these are like the most delicate ornaments. They come with like a warning. You guys, my front door wreath is so pretty. I love it so much. I've never gotten a tree or a, a door wreath that was that big before. It's just so huge and extravagant and like classic. I just love it so much. Okay. All right. I think I got all of the tags off. Now I want to make like a pretty little display with the ornaments so I can take a pretty picture, put it on my Instagram and do like a pretty little, um, overall video shot of it for the video. I'm excited. This is the kind of stuff just makes me excited. Oh shit. Just opening up these. So I want to place just one of each color up on the table so I can get a pretty shot of everything. these like a red one would be really pretty here a little gold one there and maybe a couple in there too just to sprinkle throughout and then I'll get a cute little shot that I use. Um, oh shit. It's stuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> Damn it. There we go. Okay. These are the lights that I use. I get them from Amazon. You'll see once they're on, there's nothing like these lights. They're so beautiful. They twinkle. They're very tiny little lights. So they just look so beautiful. Um, this is the first year that I'm putting the tree here, so it'll be interesting to see what these lights look like on the tree next to this garland, which also has twinkly lights, but they'll be different lights. I was also potentially thinking about wrapping some of those twinkly lights around the star up there, so that has like a separate twinkle. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what happens, but um, I am going to just put this on like a little time lapse and string the lights on the tree. What I like to do is start on the bottom and I wrap it around each individual branch. So it comes all the way out to the tip of the tree. So um, then it's just extra, extra twinkly. I do have three strands. I'm hoping there's enough. This is a fuller tree than I'm used to, but we should be fine. Um, the only thing is, is normally I just kind of neglect the back because it doesn't really matter that much. I mean, I hit it with some lights, but this year when you go up the stairs, you can see the back of the tree. So 
I can't neglect it that much. But I'm just really excited and I kind of want to get some ornaments that are almost like a maroon color. I think that'd be a very beautiful pop in here and kind of just like add to this whole vibe. Like kind of like the color of my nails. Can you imagine like just a pop of some deeper red? I don't know. Maybe for next year I'll do something like that. But I'm loving the vibe of these ornaments. I think they're so beautiful so classic and nostalgic and then just imagine the popcorn and cranberries throughout Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> it just makes my heart so happy so um, I'm gonna get started on the lights because that's what needs to go on first and then I'll do the popcorn and cranberries and then we'll probably get to do the ornaments tomorrow maybe but maybe tonight it kind of depends on the lighting because I decided to do my video so when the light's like this, it's fine. But as soon as it gets dark outside, it's a little tricky to film with this camera. He needs like fake lights. We'll see. Someone's in my driveway. Oh no, that's next door. Never mind. I'm always like paranoid. Okay, let's get going. I think I'm gonna put on a movie. Where's my remote? Where did I put my remote? That's weird. Oh, there it is. Um, right now I just have on this fireplace that plays Christmas music, but I think I'm going to put on a movie and zone out and string the lights. So I'll put, um, this on a time lapse while I do that. Let me see what I want to watch. Maybe we'll do like a Netflix, a Netflix one, something that I don't really want to pay attention to. Maybe like the princess switch or something like that. Holiday favorites. Okay, princess, the princess switch. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna watch this and uh, get to string in the lights. Christmas lights are all around. I can see them now. It's like they spell your name. pretty much all the way lit with the lights. I have three different strands on here. Um, I am, I need to finish like wrapping it around because I've got some of them just like laying down here. I just need to finish the rest. But um, yeah, this is what we are looking like so far. So now I'm gonna, I think, order some food on uh, DoorDash because I just don't really feel like cooking. I had eggs and bacon earlier for breakfast, but um yeah, pretty hungry. I just need to decide if I want Chick-fil-A or wings. So I'm going to order something and then I need to get started on the um, popcorn and cranberries. My mother-in-law is not going to make it. She's not feeling too good today. So um, yeah, just need to decide what I want to eat. But I'm really happy with how this is looking. I think it's Ah, so beautiful. I love these lights. And then I can also change the settings and make them twinkle and stuff. But I need to like organize 
the cords because they're a little uh, crazy down here. So once I get that all organized, I can maybe like group them together and then I can put the tree skirt back on and hide the cords. I uh, took that off or like out from under the tree because all of the like needles were falling on it and it was getting messy. So I just took it off and then, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm really happy with how this is looking. I feel like up here it looks kind of crazy in person, but once I get the uh, ornaments on, you really can't see the strand and stuff. But yeah, it's looking beautiful. I'm gonna make bubbles. the popcorn. Um, I've actually never done this before. Anytime that I've done popcorn and cranberries, my mom always makes it. Got a big old pot. Half a cup of popcorn and three tablespoons of oil. So, let's try that. I know if that's all. Pop. Dropped it everywhere. I'll deal with that in a second. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, three tablespoons of oil. So I've got olive oil here. Cover, set heat to medium high, leave pan lid slightly ajar to allow steam to escape. Shake pan gently once or twice during popping. Okay, cover, but leave a little hole. Medium to high. When popping slows to about two to three seconds apart, remove the pan from the heat. Pour in a large bowl. Perfect. All right, let me clean up all this bullshit that I just dropped. Ugh. Okay, this worked out. I had to clean up my kitchen floor anyways. <laughs> okay. All righty. dump it here into a bowl. Perfect. And this is nice too because it's not um, like 
buttered or salted. It does have the oil that I put in to cook it with, but it's like a bright white popcorn. It's not like yellow or anything. So the bright white will look really nice on the tree. I'm just gonna put this here, let it cool off. And then I put my cranberries here in a bowl um, just so that they could kind of like become not so cold just because we've made them before and they were fresh out of the fridge and it was really hard to get the um, needle through them. So I am gonna put this blanket across my couch while I do this because I don't wanna get any of the cranberries on the couch. Um, but yeah, my, uh, where did I put it? My Chick-fil-A arrived. I'll show you what I ordered because I'm going to have a little food before I do the popcorn and cranberries. So I got a Cobb salad and I do, um, I usually do no, no corn, but um, when I order on DoorDash, they don't let me put that. So the corn's in it, but um, I do the grilled spicy chicken, the cold stuff, not the crispy stuff. It's really good. It's the chicken that they put on the Southwest salad, but I do the avocado lime ranch dressing and I do eat the um, bell peppers that comes with it. So good. I like to like do this so that they get all small. And then also got some hot grilled nuggets with the honey roasted barbecue sauce and then for fun I got myself a parfait it's a little fruit parfait with a little bit of granola so yeah oh they gave me two granolas So this is my fancy schmancy uh, lunch or early dinner. It's four o'clock, so um, this will probably just be like an early dinner, but. So I'm gonna find another Christmas movie to watch. I'm gonna eat my salad. Oh, it's so pretty in here already. The sun, seriously, as soon as it hit like 3.30, it was like whew, already started to get dark in here and now it's like, it's getting <laughs> really dark already. Um, but it looks so pretty with the tree, so. Um, yeah, I'm gonna eat this and then watch uh, another Christmas movie. Gotta find something. I just got done eating and I'm watching the new Christmas with You uh, movie on Netflix with Freddie Prince Jr. Okay, so I just made myself a cup of coffee and we're gonna get on to stringing the popcorn and cranberries. So I've got them here. This has cooled off a bit. These have warmed up a bit and now um, I just looked up a video because normally my mom does this for me, but I've got um, the green thread and needle. So yeah, I'm gonna give this a whirl. strand it took me kind of a long time um it probably won't take me that long for all of them but i'm gonna try to move this up here let's see if, there we go i kind of hooked it on with a little knot here but i think just kind of draped it around and then laid it there. So I think that's probably what I'll end up doing for the rest of them. Just kind of draping it, it'll be a lot easier. 
Um, oh, so pretty though. I love it. And then I can just overlap the other one like right here and then continue. So maybe this I can just, there. Okay, very cute. Well, I'm gonna keep doing that for a little while and then we'll see. I might decorate with ornaments tonight but I might just do it tomorrow. Um, I, uh, I personally love decorating the tree at night. I think it's way more like special and magical, but if I end up doing that video, then I should do it during the day because of the lighting. But part of me is just kind of like, fuck it. <laughs> Let me just do it at night because it's a vibe. <sighs> I love that. That's so classic and nostalgic. I love how that looks. Okay, I'm gonna get back to my threading I made such a mess on the ground but yeah so far this movie is really cute um I don't know what I'm gonna watch next maybe something a little bit more classic but um this was maybe like a 90s classic but this was really cute I liked it currently watching happiest season on Hulu which I've seen this a couple times I really like it I feel like it's underrated um, but I wanted to show you how, hey, don't eat the popcorn. I want to show you how she tells me that she's got to go to the bathroom. She just ate dinner and she just, well now she's standing, but she usually just sits there and stares at me. She's probably wondering why I'm talking. She's looking at me like, like, what are you saying? I don't understand. <laughs> what, are you ready to go outside and go potty? There it is. <laughs> she just sits there until I let her out. She doesn't bark or anything. She just stares. Oh, good burp. Wow, that was excellent. You gotta go outside? Wanna go outside, go potty? Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go, babies. Let's go. Let's go potties. I think I'm pretty much just going to be working on doing these strands for the rest of the night. I've only done, let's see here, one, two, three. I've only gotten three done and I think I need to do a minimum of four more to make it like make sense to have it at least like um what's the word like right now each of them ends and then doesn't continue and you can see the end of each so I need them each to go at least around to where you can't see them anymore so I need four and then I need to probably do at least one to the top so that's what I'll be working on the rest of the night and I think I'm going to be doing the ornaments tomorrow because it's getting kind of late. Um, you, you snuggling up? <laughs> You're so cute. Um, so yeah, I'm probably just gonna work on this and then um, go to bed in just a little while after I finish the rest of the strands. It took me about, mm, I'd say an hour and a half to do those three. So it's gonna take me probably two more hours to finish the rest. So, oh, she's licking my fingers. Do I have chicken fingers? I shredded her chicken for dinner. Yeah, you can taste them, huh? Are they good? Are they good chicken fingers? Oh, so good. I can kiss her and be all up in her grill. 
and she doesn't get mad at me. And um, one of my last vlogs, I was kissing her goodbye and she was like growling and showing her teeth and stuff. And that's just when we're leaving. She can tell because we have our keys or I'll grab my purse and she just knows. But like, I can be all up in her grill and she, oh, just a little growl. Just a little one. But she loves us. You're so sweet. She just gets a little sassy when we leave. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Tomorrow I'm going to be doing the ornaments on the tree. And I did have plans tomorrow to go to my mother-in-law's house or my in-law's house. And um, I was going to help her with her Christmas decorations. But if she's sick, then I won't be going there. So I'll probably finish the ornaments here tomorrow. And I'm going to check the lighting right now just to see what it looks like at night with my other camera because I would like to do ornaments at night. I don't know what it is. It just feels very like cozy and like which is very Christmassy. So um, I would prefer to do it that way. But uh, yeah, that's it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed um, watching me <laughs> decorate or well, I really, really wasn't decorating. I was just like lighting up the tree. I guess that's part of it. But that's it for today's vlog. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you're enjoying Vlogmas. If you're not subscribed, please do. You don't want to miss out on all of my Vlogmas videos. Um, and that's it. Thanks for watching. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. You say bye, pretzel? Yeah, go bye. Oh my goodness. Woohoo. Woohoo. <laughs> say Merry Christmas. Merry Vlogmas! Mm -hmm.